We're out here testing the Nike Vapor Pro 2. Come check it out. Some of my favorite Nike shoes have been the Vapor, so I was excited to get the Vapor Pro 2s on my feet and out onto the court. Uh, I really did like the previous Vapor, but I found this one to fit my feet a little bit better. Uh, the first one was a little, has a little bit of a narrower fit. This one isn't what I would describe as wide. However, it did open up over time. And there is actually a wide model available that is a little bit wider in the toe box, although it's not super wide either. I did comfortably wear the standard width version for this play test and I really liked how quick I felt on court with these and I thought the traction was really nice to pair with that lightweight. I liked how I could pivot really quickly out of my shots and I feel like those who are more aggressive could actually slide in these shoes. I'm not a slider so it was not but I didn't ever have any problems with slipping either. Durability wise, I am not seeing too much wear on the toes. I am getting a little bit of scuffing, so I'm impressed there for a lightweight shoe and getting some wear after about 10 hours on the outsole. So I wouldn't expect these to be the most durable Nike shoes out there, but I really enjoyed how quick and light I felt out on court in these. I've been a big fan of Nike shoes dating all the way back to my junior and college days and my last favorite shoe was a GP Turbo so I was really excited to see how these Vapor Pro 2s would feel and I was not disappointed. I have a narrow width foot and I wanted to point out that I thought that it was pretty wide toe box for me. I had lots of extra room and then the midfoot and the heel felt nice and secure at the beginning and then towards about five hours into the play test I started to feel that it was opening up and giving a little bit more extra room. Now some of the highlights for me was the lightweight feel. I felt really quick on the court and coupled with the low to the ground feel, I felt like I was really connected and had great traction. Um, another highlight was the comfort. I had no break in period. While the cushioning isn't the most plush, I found it very supportive. Maybe a little bit less in the forefoot, but that's okay with me. Now a couple negatives, I thought that the shoe wasn't the most durable. However, it is to be expected. It is more of a lightweight shoe. But the one issue that I really struggled with was getting um, a nice locked in feel around my ankle. I was wanting one more eyelet on the medial side to really kind of cinch it up. So I was finding myself having to retie my shoes throughout a practice. Overall though, this definitely goes into the top spot of my lightweight category. I'm gonna be a little bit more critical on this shoe. I had really high expectations going into the play test, but let's start with the positives. When I got my feet into these shoes, I did appreciate and notice that extra air unit underfoot, especially right under my midfoot. I felt super bouncy and loved that about this shoe. It did feel much more comfortable to me than the previous version. I also felt like my heels were held in very comfortably. However, they did not feel as supported as I would have liked. I did struggle, as Britt also mentioned, a little bit with getting locked in, and I found that the upper also opened up for me as the play test went on, and there just wasn't a way to cinch up my shoes super tight. I am one of those players that likes to play with really tight lace shoes, and I could take this shoe off without untying it, even when I had them as tight as I could. So that might give you a bit of a picture of how they fit my feet. Um, unfortunately for me, I prefer a stickier traction and I did experience a little bit of a slip on court in these. It kind of bugged me a little bit, made me a little unsure and kind of bothered my knee a tiny bit. So that's kind of where my play test stopped with these shoes. I lost my confidence moving in these and kind of didn't get to test the durability as much as I would have liked. But um, definitely a great shoe for comfort and speed. Just didn't fit my feet perfectly. Now let's toss it over to Jophie in Atlanta. I've heard that you're liking this shoe. Tell us about your play test. Thanks, Michelle. Actually, it's been a while since I tested a Nike tennis shoe, so I was super excited to get the new Nike Vapor Pro 2s on my feet. To be honest, I wasn't really a huge fan of the previous generation of the Vapors, so I wasn't really sure what to expect. But to my surprise, I was absolutely amazed by these shoes. Right out of the box, they felt super good, so there was no breaking time needed for me, which is a great plus when you buy a new shoe. I truly enjoyed how light and speedy they felt on the court. Generally speaking, I prefer shoes that are a bit more low to the ground, uh, they have a lower build, so I feel a bit more connected to my steps, so I feel safer when I'm moving around on court, and these shoes were exactly just like that. Uh, cushioning-wise, I have no complaints. I felt like I had a perfect amount of cushioning. 
When it comes to support, I felt very nicely supported in all my moves, which honestly I feel like it's kind of a big deal when it comes to such a low profile shoe, which is not built that bulky. So yeah, support was top notch. Traction was totally perfect in the beginning. I felt like I had the perfect balance between give and grip. I was able to slide out of my shots perfectly and also had just enough grip to stop nicely for each of my moves. Uh, my one knock, unfortunately, would, for the shoe would be that as the playtest went on, there was um, some recognizable wear on the outsole, which made the shoe slightly more slippery. Um, honestly, I didn't really mind because I do like a shoe that's a bit more slippery and allows me to slide a bit more on court. It's just something to keep in mind. All in all, this is an amazing shoe option for you for this season. It also comes in many different colors, so lots to choose from. Definitely give this one a go. Thanks for watching. For more information on the shoe and many others, please go check out Tennis Warehouse, Tennis Warehouse Europe or Tennis Only.